Hello, I'm Mark Herbert from Timber Products. Today we will continue with the process of creating hardwood plywood. We will pick up at our production process back in our hardwood plywood mill in Medford, Oregon. The dried softwood veneer that was produced in our last video will now be taken to the glue spreaders at the layup lines. The glue spreader has two roller bars which constantly have glue pumped and applied to the surface of the roller. One employee feeds the softwood veneer through the roller bars and glue is applied to both sides of the veneer. On the other side, an employee catches the veneer as it comes out of the spreader and two other employees behind them place another sheet of veneer on top. It is important that the grain of the veneer is oriented in 90 degrees from the veneer above or below in an alternating pattern. This is what gives plywood a uniform strength throughout the panel. Once the correct number of layers or plies of veneer have been glued to make a desired thickness, two sheets of decorative hardwood veneer are placed on top, which ends the panel construction below and begins the next panel on top. This unit of panel constructions then moves along the line to the cold or pre-press. This press applies pressure to the entire unit of panels in order to make them easier to handle as they move to the next machine center. As the pre-press releases, the unit of panels moves to the hot press. The hot press uses steam to heat up metal plates called platens. The platens are heated to more than 250 degrees. The press has 30 openings in which an individual panel will be loaded. After all the panels are loaded into the hot press, the operators close the press. A combination of heat and pressure are needed to properly cure the glue in the panel. Once the core of the panels reach the temperature required to cure the glue, the press is opened and unloaded with sweeping arm bars. Now we can follow the plywood panels onto a number of different machine centers which prepare them to be shipped to our customers. One machine center is the putty line. Plywood panels that have open defects on the face or back veneers come here to have putty applied to them. This putty fills in the defect and creates an even surface for our sanding machine further along in the process. Next, we will follow a unit of plywood to our finishing saw. This machine sends the panel through a series of saws in order to create a square edge along all four sides of the panel. The panel then moves to our sanding machine. This machine runs the panels through fine grit sanding belts, creating a smooth surface on the face, back, and edges of the panel. Here the sander operator watches for any defects that may have been missed by the sanding belts and will move those panels to a stack that needs re-sanding. The panels that meet our specifications will move to the banding station. This is where all the required packaging and plastic bands are wrapped around the unit of plywood to prepare it to be shipped out. 
From here, the unit will be stored until the appropriate mode of transportation arrives to pick up the unit and deliver it to our customers. At our Medford Plywood facility, we are able to ship products out via truck or rail. Thank you for following along the entire process of turning a log into a sheet of plywood. If you would like to learn more about timber products or the products we offer, please visit us at timberproducts.com. Thanks again.